Hey guys, welcome to another Eve Echoes related uh, topic video. Uh, today we're going to be covering the announcement that's just come through for the Intelligent Nano Core. Now, of course, this is going to be released tomorrow. That's uh, Wednesday, the 22nd of March 2023. At the moment, all we know about this uh, Nano Core is what you'll be seeing up on screen right now. Uh, this blue screenshot was just shared within the past 30 minutes on the Eve Echoes Discord server. Now, yeah, what we know about this so far is that it has been an incredibly divisive um, feature, let's say. It's been an incredibly divisive feature. I say that because of the uh, item on the bottom right that you'll be seeing that says AI Access. This game is very, very semi-AFK friendly as a result of it being a mobile game. And this allows you to take your hands off of the wheel. Again, it is entirely possible that it costs so much grinding to achieve that only uh, the whales will be buying this upgrade. Until we see it in action, there's not really much to talk about. But we'll be having a look at... Um, Items number one and two on this screenshot. Item one indicates that you can obtain more main and secondary attributes through upgrades. Um, moving on to number two, if you look closely in on the screenshot, there are four different purple nanocore ships. Does this imply that you'll be able to inherit a secondary attributes from other ships uh, through their nano cores. That would be quite interesting. Like if there's a nano core out there that gives you the ability to improve stasis webifier effect, apply that to a Bolgorn's nano core as a secondary, secondary attribute to further improve its stasis webifiers. There'd be if it works like that, it'd be an interesting amount of mixing and matching to see what works. And of course, it will give us a purpose uh, for all of these other older purple nanocores that we have um, earned over time or inherited or whatever the means. We will have a method of disposing of them in a meaningful manner that isn't just harvesting them for parts. So... That will be interesting to see just how much further we can customise our nano cores. But moving back on to AI access, the third topic. This is the divisive topic. I quite like what we're seeing with the first two. But moving on to the divisive one, I don't see it's going to be achieving all that much. It's going to be clearing cosmic encounters. Uh, there, sorry, I'm jumbling words together now, it can complete high-sec combat encounters for you and normal cosmic anomalies. Now, how is this going to play out? Is it going to work through the list of encounters in system according to closest? I'm thinking here, if you're in a, a high-security system and you've got some level 3 cosmic anomalies in there, and you've accepted a bunch of T10 uh, combat encounters, will it keep on juggling between the two and doing the uh, T3 cosmic anomalies that spawn in system, uh, absolutely ruining your ticks? That's a possibility. Another thing that I'd quite ent be quite entertained watching happen is, you know, the settings... In Eve Echoes, the battle settings, auto attack, auto lockback, auto orbit, and auto attack the next target. How well does the AI nanocore bonus perform? Does it just piggyback on top of those settings? And the only things that it does are warp to zero on anomaly and hit lock all. Because if that's all it does, it will be absolutely hilarious after the first attack to see that it just does nothing. You know, um, 
there are probably going to be a number of lost ships in the next couple of weeks if that happens to be the case with people complaining that it's bugged because they have all of those settings turned off. I also don't expect that it's going to be warping at 100 for the APOC strikers doing their farming. <clears throat> If you do get the ability to tell it to warp at 100 and auto attack by a closest target, that will be broken. But at the moment, I am interested to see how this pl plays out. M interested more on the side of I want to see what doesn't work and how badly people mess up with it. Um, I'm coming in uh, to this with a kind of optimistic approach. I am well aware, though, of the fact that if this becomes popular and people use it to AFK um, uh, rat all day long, uh, every day that they're not at work or school, I'm well aware of the fact that we're going to see even more price inflation, most notably on Plex prices. There have been hints from the other content creators that Netties are also concerned about the constant rise in Plex prices. So hopefully, shortly after the release of this Nanocore, we'll be seeing some form of a response from Netties with any luck with regards to getting those Plex prices back down again and tackling the fundamental issue, which is, of course, the botting issue. Um, I'm going to stop rambling there and let you guys have a look at this for a few more seconds before I uh, end the video. Um, yeah, enjoy.